Hello you guys, welcome to the pilot episode for this podcast. Um, right now we'll just call this episode one, um, because I don't have a name for it yet. I'm thinking of fever dreams because fading in and out, that's what a podcast is. You pop up back in when the new episode's here. Um, I guess first topic, you ever notice when like something goes wrong? A little more things going on. Like right now, I was creeping around downstairs getting a drink. I dropped my phone, and um, at the base of our steps, we have a kid gate because I have a nephew. He's, he's two, so I had to open that. I dropped my phone because I tried to do it with the same hand, and uh, I dropped my phone. I went to go get it, and the gate hit me in the shin, and it's currently 3:30 a.m. <laughs> so I hit my shin on the door. I dropped my phone, and it was it just seemed kind of loud. I don't know. But yeah, so I guess the first topic on this podcast is, uh, I actually just got off FaceTime, and we were talking about chairs. He he has this uh, gaming chair that, um, normally I would say that guys my size, I'm kind of a thicker dude, I'm, I'm a thick boy, um, I'm about 240, 6'2", I actually lost weight, which is kind of good. Um, gamer chairs aren't really... The best for guys my size because they're meant to be in like sports cars they're like bucket seats almost and those are made for like thinner people <clears throat> maybe one time i'll tell you about the time i got locked in a hundred and forty thousand dollar porsche but that's for another time so yeah i've been looking at chairs just to replace this old office chair this old office chair it's a great chair i look forward to sitting in it when i get home from like a long day at work but I just want to upgrade a new chair. I want to be able to lean back and have my head hit something. This is like a... Ends up like my mid-back. And uh, I don't know. A chair is really important to me. Just obviously. I like to spend my time here when I'm watching a podcast on my laptop. Or if I'm actually playing games. I don't know. I just always think a good chair is a great thing to have. So yeah. I've been hunting around for those. Um... I guess I'll be shooting these podcasts kind of late at night, just because it's quiet. Like I said, we have a two-year-old in the house, and quite a few people live here, so it's kind of always something happening, which I don't really mind it. It makes it kind of fun for the most part, but the most boring part is now, which is nighttime. There's nothing to do. And it's not like that we have much to do tomorrow either. Um, obviously, right now, the time of filming this, we're still in the middle of this pandemic. Epidemic? Pandemic? Pandemic? <laughs> so every day feels like a weekend. Uh, I actually got to go to work yesterday. Work with my dad. Um, well, one of my jobs is I work with my dad. We actually had to drive up to a job site to do something. So that was kind of nice to finally actually do something productive, it feels like. Not that making this video or just anything else is not productive. But it was just nice to be able to do work, I guess, you know, just go to work, um, did you guys know that Gatorade, they have canned Gatorades, if you're obviously watching this, I mean, it's a podcast, you don't need to watch this, but if you see on the camera, Gatorade makes Gatorade in a can, in 2020, I thought that was kind of strange, but, so, something in this podcast, it's just going to be random, my thoughts, what's going on. My hair's messed up, obviously, like, I fell asleep, and I woke up, like, four more times ago. It's like a fever dream. Like I said, that's one of the names I want to name this podcast. I also kind of want to name it the Don't Touch My Camera podcast, but I don't want it to make it seem like it's only about camera gear. Although I will be talking a good amount about camera gear. Like, for instance, right now, I'm shooting this on the 40 mil. <clears throat> just so it's not as punched in like I doubt you want to watch a video of my face I don't even want to look at that while editing this um, and my one other lens is the STM 50 millimeter 1.8 the one with the metal mount so it's like the most recent version of it um, and my camera that I'm filming on is if you've seen my other YouTube videos or anything or this is the first one I shoot on a 6D Mark II um, with the tiny little Manfrotto, Manfrotto tripod. <clears throat> um, a lens that I really want to buy is actually the 100mm 
which it's a macro lens, so like you can get really close to like bugs and stuff like that, be able to shoot those photos. Um, I want to do that, or like plants. Just open up smaller worlds that people don't normally see, like I don't know, like little ants going into an ant, a little ant hill or like an ant hole or just something of that nature. I think it'd be fascinating. You don't really see that much macro photography. It's just, just portraits or like scenery. Um, and it's a 100 millimeter, like I said, it's a 2.8, so pretty wide aperture. Um, and it has image stabilization, so I think that would be great for portraits as well, or if you're obviously hand holding video. Um, another lens that I've always wanted is the 50 millimeter 1.2. EF. I love the dreamy look. It's very California looking if you're going for that aesthetic in my opinion, which is what I enjoy. But I just can't force myself or bring myself to buy it just yet. Obviously, I don't really have much of an income right now. And I feel like the 50mm does a good enough job, this cheap one. And I have a couple filters that makes it look a little bit hazier. So I guess this will suffice. And I also really, really want the 30, Canon 35mm 1.4 version 2. Um, I had a Sigma version of that lens. Autofocus was kind of meh. Just like autofocus is kind of dodgy on the 40mm. Love this one. It's much better on the 50 but I don't want to sit way far back. Um, so I really want that lens too. Obviously I don't have an income right now. So that would be a dream lens to have. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Um, what lens I do miss the most, though, that I've owned before is my Canon 70-200. Amazing, because I love to photograph the clouds. I don't know. It brings me kind of peace, knowing that I can photograph clouds. Um, I'm not going to lie. It was heavy, but it looked cool. Anytime you put it on your camera, you look like you knew what you were doing. Um, although it kind of weirded people out, obviously, seeing a lens this big and then a camera. And it looks like your whole setup's this big. It's like, whoa, relax. What are you doing over there, creep? <laughs> With that big white lens. Uh, I miss shooting portraits with it. it was such a sharp lens. The sharpest lens I've... I'd say one of these sharper lenses. Probably... I think it's right behind... Slightly behind the Sigma. But the Sigma was just... The autofocus was just kind of a nightmare. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but yeah, the 7200. I used to go out and shoot in the rain in it. Oof. It was so much fun. Being able to get close shots. Just anything. Amazing for portraits too. Amazing lens. Even the F4 variant, like if you can't afford the 2.8, which most of us hobbyists can't, I just got happened to like pull a good deal on it and then I had to sell it for car repairs, which is unfortunate. Don't buy an E46 BMW. They're great cars, but so expensive to fix. <clears throat> so I actually had to sell that lens just recently, a couple months ago, to pay for car repairs. And what do you know? The other day, I'm in the drive-thru at Chick-fil-A, you know? I was getting my grilled chicken sandwich with my friend. Um, and all of a sudden, I turn the wheel left, and you hear... Kind of sound, like kind of bassy, though. Like, I don't know. Probably blow out your ears. Um, but that, I was like, no. I was like, I can't be good. Anytime someone's rocking or doing that, especially in the BMW, you're just like, oh. I looked it up. It looks like the control arm or the ball, the ball joints or something is bad on it. And I'm just like, oh. In the two years I've owned the car, I think I've just maintenance alone. I've put in like five grand at least. And now it's broken again, kind of. I don't want to drive it just to be safe. Just so I don't like be driving at high speeds and thing gives out or just something I don't know um well, you can always fix it yourself all those car people it's like I don't want to though it's, it's a car I love cars but I don't want to work on them myself so now that's that's a thing but I'm fortunate that um we have plenty of cars not in like a crazy sense not like we're out here driving Maseratis or we got Bentleys out here or something. But we have a like a couple like a like a Toyota car and like my mom has her older BMW as well, which is a nice drive. So and I'm not in really a big rush to fix my car, because what am I gonna do? Fix my car? And then it's gonna sit out in the street like it is right now. 
um, not going anywhere. <laughs> and I don't, I don't know. So yeah, from cars to lenses to all that. But yeah, um, my idea for this podcast is just to have like small bite-sized uh, videos. Um, my goal is to be about 15 minutes in the beginning, and then once to start just to get some traction. Um, obviously I'll be better at riffing by myself, being able to like talk to you guys. Um, <clears throat> sorry. I'll be able to riff better solo. Um, I don't know if you guys listen to any comedian podcast who doesn't listen to Joe Rogan. Great podcast. The Chris D'Elia episode has me dying, especially when they're talking about shooting themselves. Like that's, <laughs> it's funny when it's not happening to you. Not that I've ever done it, but um, those, those are super funny. Um, or the video of when it's Joe Rogan and Brian Callen out in the, uh, in the woods hunting and they're talking about shitting. <laughs> that one had me dying because they're sitting there whispering. I don't know if you've ever seen the movie The Other Guys, but when they're at the police funeral back at the, the police station and they're whispering and they're getting into a fight and they're fighting on the floor <laughs> and everyone's just whispering that scene killed me just because they had to stay quiet. Like everything was all good. But yeah, I don't know if you guys have ever listened to the Bill Burr podcast, the Monday morning podcast, I think it's called, but it's always like after Thursday something. Um, he's someone that's so good at rifting by himself. It's honestly amusing. Like, I don't know how someone is that good solo. Obviously, he's a professional comedian. He's been in the game forever. But, like, some of the things he says, like, he makes himself laugh. That's how good he is. And then, like, obviously, he's had listeners since, like, the beginning of podcasting. So, I want to see, hopefully, refine my skills a bit at doing this. Um, hopefully, not get as good as him, because he's one of the greats. But, I don't know. Maybe make you guys laugh, be able to rift on myself. It's funny, hopefully. But yeah. So, this was the pilot episode for the podcast. Uh, sorry if it's a little bit low. Obviously, I have to stay quiet. Um, people are sleeping. It's almost 4 a.m. Plus, uh, I don't know. Just got to be able to ramble by myself. Maybe entertain you guys. Uh, like I said, uh, this podcast is... I wanted to keep about 15 minutes for the early episodes. And then once I start to get a little bit of traction and get better at rifting by myself, um, go about 20 minutes, maybe 25, maximum 30, because my DSLR only records to 30, or it'll stop recording and then I'll re-record and then stitch the video together if we get there. <clears throat> I'd love to have guests eventually, um, you know, have a little bit of fun with it. Uh, so this episode is going to be about a little longer than 13 minutes. I'm pretty proud of myself that I made it that long. Um, feels like forever when you're up here because you're on almost like a stage. But yeah, um, if you guys have any thoughts on the podcast name, I would enjoy if you dropped them below. Uh, any questions or maybe like topics if I see fit to ask about them or if you feel if I see fit to mention them. Um, I'll read them in the comment section for the next episode and then we could just have a discussion or like a, my thoughts on that. Um, but yeah, hopefully this isn't the first and last episode of this podcast, whatever it is. I'll post it as number one, so we'll all know. You guys enjoy your day. Uh, get through this quarantine, I guess. Find a way to do it. Um, go for a walk. Go for a drive. I don't know. Sit outside, have some laughs, sit in the sun a bit. I think that's really important is sitting in the sun. Uh, definitely find whatever thing motivate, like creative, draw, maybe even take photos with your phone. These phones are pretty good nowadays. Just, I don't know, maybe pick up a hobby if you don't have a whole lot to do. And if you are still going to work, I appreciate that, especially at grocery stores or, you know, who's not being mentioned is truckers. People like the, the people that drive trucks, like hauling goods and stuff underappreciated right now, very underappreciated right now. So yeah, like I said, uh, you guys have a good one. I know this is a long outro, but it happens. <laughs> it happens. Oh, and I also got a Nintendo Switch. And I got this case. It looks like definitely like this company stole the patent from UAG if UAG was to make one. I've been playing Animal Crossing.
It's nice to kind of kill time. Rambling again. All right, you guys have a good one. I'll see you guys in the next one, hopefully. And I have more videos coming out soon, too, when I get around to them. I've just been feeling a little less motivated. But yeah, you guys enjoy the rest of your day. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye, guys.